Hello everyone, and welcome to Yank FM on YouTube and our new series, The Berwick Battle. Unlike a lot of Let's Play series for Football Manager 2016, we're going to try one in Scotland, where the whole point of our entire series here will be to break up the old farm and to consistently win the Scottish Premier League and to get to the group stage of the Champions League. We don't expect to be world beaters. We don't expect to consistently win Champions League and play for the highest honors. This save is a little more modest in its, I guess, direction. In that we're just trying to stop two teams who consistently dominate a country's league. And to do it with a team that starts at the bottom of the playable FM base. Um, this isn't an imported database. No edits have been made. This will be a pretty straightforward save. We're going to start as the Berwick Rangers in League 2 of the Scottish Premier League, which would be the fourth tier in Scotland. And we're going to work our way to the top and then try to unseat the two big hitters in Scotland, um, Rangers and Celtic. No easy task given that we'll have very limited funds, probably through the entire save, a very limited talent pool, in that realistically I'm aiming for a, if not totally, a vast, vast majority of Scottish players in my team. And we're also going to try and do it with as few tactics as possible. So let's start real quick with my tactic. We're going to be using a highly structured counter-attacking 4-4-2. It's a pretty basic system. Uh, I'm trying to model it as much as possible after Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid. Massive amounts of pressing. Um, two defensive forwards to constantly harry the defense for a ball. Uh, higher tempo, combative, let's get stuck in. Let's play very narrow and compact, and then let's blow down the flanks for all we can. Um, we'll get more into the tactic as the season goes. Um, I have it in all three slots right now, trying to get my guys past the awkward stage with it. Let's take a real quick look here at the club. Uh, the Berwick Rangers are a bit of an anomaly in Scottish football, in that they are actually in... England. Yes, but they play in the Scottish League. Hmm, interesting. It's a 10 league team, a 10 team league, sorry about that. Um, the top four teams go in the playoffs. The top team is automatically promoted. The winner out of the playoffs goes up. They also play, I believe, one of the teams from the league above in the playoffs, if I remember correctly. So you'll have a four-team playoff with the lowest relegated team up above to see if you can actually go up still. Anyways, we picked Berwick for a couple reasons. One, they're as financially stable as you're going to get in the lower tiers of Scottish football. And two, they have a really, really hideous emblem. I thought it was interesting. Now we're, we're going to run with it. We're not going to go over the squad too much. Uh, let's take a look at our schedule so far. We've played Falkirk, who is a championship level team. They are two leagues above us. Then we played Morakambi, which was a nice 2 win, 2, two nil win at home um, against the League 2 side from England. I called Sunderland in for, obviously, to make some money before the season started. Um... It was about a $10,000 windfall towards our team. We got smashed, as I expected, but we got a little match fitness in. Made the club some cash. The Wigan one was already scheduled when I took over the team. So there you go. That was our preseason. It was pretty basic. Um, as far as our schedule goes... Oh, boy... We have three cups we're going to be playing in. The Scottish Cup, the Scottish League Cup, and the Scottish League Challenge Cup. 
it's a lot of cup matches. And then on we have, of course, we have our League Two team, League Two series. Um, the nice part about the league is games are only on Saturdays. There's no real fixture congestion through the season. You play Saturdays once a week. Okay. Which is a good thing because we're a semi-professional outfit. And as far as training goes, we only have a couple days a week to do actual training. So it becomes a bit of an issue trying to install a tactic and get your players trained up to a acceptable level and then to get some actual um, results on the pitch. You know, this could be a multiple season save before I get anywhere near the Premiership. And then I have the distinct feeling if I do get to the Premiership, it's going to be a couple seasons of battling to not be relegated. Um, a couple other goals we have for this save are we're going to be trying to upgrade our youth intake and our youth system as much as possible. Um, for one, we're going to have financial issues as a club. Until we hit that premiership and get a consistent amount of money in every year. And two, if we can develop some good talent that's not elite, I'm going to look to sell them to finance the club. Um, finances are going to be a huge problem here in Scotland. Just like in real life for the clubs. There's no, once you get to the Scottish Championship, you're rolling in the cash and can start buying multi-million dollar players. Uh, that doesn't happen here. The money is not at all like it is in England or in Spain or in Germany or many other countries you could make a save in. You will be financially challenged here pretty much until you can get Europa League money most of the time. So that's the real challenge of this save is that the teams ahead of you, especially Celtic, and to a lesser degree, Rangers have such a head start on their infrastructure and their economic power that it's going to be fairly difficult to compete with them on anything that approaches even footing. But that's the beauty of this save. I mean, there is plenty of saves out there with guys taking a lower league team, like a conference team or an Evo stick team, and running them up to the premiership. And good on them. I love saves like that. I just, I know it can be done, and it can be done, you know, if you're given enough time and enough effort put in by the player. This save could end horribly wrong. We could end up getting the sack, we could end up never making it above a mid-table premiership team. When the save ends, I don't know. I know I want to win back-to-back -back Scottish Premier League championships, and I would really like to get out of the group stage two times in the Champions League with a Scottish team. I think if I can get that far, I would consider this save a success and it will probably be the end of it. Um, so we've had a, a quick look at the tactic, the club, what my expectations for the save are. Um, I'm not exactly sure how often I'm going to upload or how often this will be updated. I planned on the first actual video coming out will probably be the Montrose game, which is our first league game. I have absolutely no idea what to expect in these cup matches. I know we played Falkirk earlier, and they are two leagues above us in the League Cup, which I'm guessing is for all of Scotland. I'm guessing the Challenge Cup is going to be something a lot like, say, the FA not the the FA Trophy, where it's, you know, restricted to the two lower leagues, I'm guessing, or, or like the Johnston's Paint Trophy, something along that lines. And then we have the Scottish Cup, which I don't, I don't know what the difference is. I, I'll find out when I play them. But I'm guessing the Montrose game will be the first, will be the next upload after this intro. Um, we'll go over the tactic, the squad, and we will live calm that game. Um, and we'll see how it goes. But thanks for watching. And uh, if you 
could uh, subscribe and like, that would be greatly appreciated.